Big ACDC theme tonight, Johnny. So there's a big ACDC theme tonight. Must be biggest man, like biggest band in Mansfield, I'm not sure. I do love a good heavyweight boxing bout. Love watching one. I wouldn't want to be in one. Oh no. Thing about heavyweights, it's either bang out or gas out. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. I'm pretty sure that I borrowed that line from someone else. Might have been Josh Gudgeon. The power. That's the thing about watching heavyweights. It's just power in every shot. So like when me and you fought, we fought in the lighter weight classes. Yeah. It's a little bit different. I think uh, each one of these guys is two of us. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, I like watching them. I don't want to be in one. So we take a dip into the heavyweight ranks. We've got Kurt Walker in the blue and white Lonsdale shorts going up against Christopher Cedar in the black shorts. Two distinct different body types in front of us. Yeah, you've got the stockier Walker. I say stockier, they're both extremely tall, but we've got the stockier yeah. Walker against the longer range of Cedar. Cedar seems to carry most of his weight over his shoulders. Power thrown by these would not men. want to get hit by either of these men. Yeah, Walker immediately dominates, takes the center of the center of the cage. Cedar with a fast jab. Cedar with some fast Ooh, with that left hook as well. Walker with a volume as well, turns yeah. him onto the cage. Onto the cage. Digs a free into his ribs. Well, and then right, right hook on the break. Cedar not Cedar Cedar chasing him down. Uppercut up up as well, up. brilliant uppercut. See, that's what you want to see. Yeah. Fighting, fighting off of the break. Especially these bigger weight classes, because any any shot ah. can knock you out. So that's that's when head you, body head body there with the jabs. I like Cedar's movement. He's got Maybe brilliant too, yeah, he's I mean, moving very fast for heavyweight. He's, he's fading in and out. He's cutting an angle. He's making Kurt miss, but if Kurt catches him in one of these, yeah, he's, he's, he's throwing with intention. He's throwing with intention. Nice uppercut to left up then from Cedar. Pick the head up. Check on the chin. The thing about Kurt, when you see in this like with Kurt Walker when he's pulling forward, he's a big guy. He cuts off, he cuts off this cage. Yeah. And he's backing Cedar up. Cedar's walking straight back is a little bit too. Yeah, like I say, it's, it's, it's a bit different fighting in a cage to a ring as well. He's straight back. You can't, I want to see him angle off. Yeah, I'd say for one, you can't hang your head out of cage. Oh, nice right hand, yeah. That would be put cut. again. Working to the body. Yeah, I'd like to see more angling off as well. Angling off and then attacking. Mm. He's trying though, he's, he's looking for oh, a little big right up there. Look like it, well we'll see you a little bit then. Did you hear the sound that right up to the body made? Yeah. 
I heard it. I try not to think about it. Sound like a cricket bat. It's like I say, these big men have got power in every shot. Kurt trying to throw that right hook oh, off the break. But it's in 10 seconds left in the first round. Lovely jab strike, nice yeah. Brilliant first round. Yeah, good, good first round, good first round. Walker, he shakes his head going back into the corner, Walker. Must be frustrated about something. It might, it might have been that uppercut that cedar has got going on. It might be his range. I think Walker, I don't know about you, I think Walker's going to turn this into a dog fight. I think that's what he needs to do to win the fight. So the minute, Sid is not exactly running around him, but he's uh, definitely moving a lot more. Sid is a lot more on the feet. Yeah, what, what would you say Sid is corner saying to him now? Keep moving. Hopefully he's telling him not to run straight backwards because he's going to get caught with the right hand. Yeah, I've seen some nice some nice angling off of him first half of that first round. I'd like to see the same from Walker as well. He's a powerful guy. He knows he's a powerful guy. That's why he's coming forward. I'd like to see him cutting off the cage a little bit more. Cutting off the, leaving opening for that big right hand. Maybe cut him off throw that big left hook. He's like, like we've seen when he landed that left hook then to the body, or he's landed that right hook. Then he's got power. Mm. He wobbled, we wobbled Cedar a little bit, so we'll see, we'll see what he does now. See if Kurt Walker's going to come take the centre of the cage, uh, cage straight away. And he does. He does. Cedar bounces around on the outside. Twitchy, as twitchy as uh, I see that. Oh, oh, big power shots to the body. Might have been what Walker's corner were telling him. Yes. Yeah. Well, the taller guy is always going to have his. When you get in close like that, it's always going to be an easy to hit into the body. You're down underneath his guard. Seems to be flustering, see that. Yeah. Big right Caught hand. him with that right hand. Ooh, Ooh. Joel Smith. Put a tick in his jaw. I think he clipped him. I think he clipped him then. That uppercut's landing for Cedar. Take it again. Oh, body head. He's holding him with that left hand. Yeah. Bit of dirty boxing Cedar there. playing him, paying him back for those body shots that Walker landed earlier. Yeah. Nice hook on the he's, he's really enjoying that uppercut to lead left hook, especially when he's on inside. Pick the head up. Pick it up top. Oh, right hand. Round across the jaw. Big Seed is trying to turn into a bit more of a dog fight now. Nice screw uppercut. He's probably felt the power of power Walker coming in. He's thinking, right, let's turn this into a fight. Yeah. For me, Seed is winning the boxing match. Yeah, I like, I'm liking this long guard yeah. he's got. It's like this. Some, it's like a cat. They're all pro boxing tricks. These nice long guard, now, especially when you're on the back end and hooking. Walker's it's a wily veteran move, if anything. Yeah, Walker is moving him straight into this cage. He's making this a fight. Yeah, using his frame, turning it into a dog fight. He's, he's, not, he's not just here to box, he's here to fight. Okay, he's going for a time pump, then. Lovely, lovely jab, lovely jab. Jabbing away from the, uh, Walker's, from the reply. Walker's having some big deep breaths yeah. now. See if he takes a step back. So for me, Seed is winning the boxing match, but Kurt needs to make this a fight for him to win it. Yeah, yeah, I think when he come out, when Will come out with them big opening opening hooks, I weren't worried for Seed, but you could see they were going to take take its toll, put a bit of damage. In. But what I'm liking is almost some of the little tricks that Seed is playing. Like I say, hovering with that left hook and throwing that uppercut, hovering that left hook, throwing the body, or using that long guard to like almost stun the vision of Will. Will can't see he's moving off to an angle. It's it, it's. He's not just throwing, like I'm saying, he's not just throwing punches, he's using a lot of no. different tactics to evade and move. It's beautiful to handle. watch. Yeah, you've got to think as well, Walker's a powerful guy. He yeah. felt his power, you could see it in his face. When he caught him with that right yeah. up. As soon as doing the right thing to win the fight. His corner's probably staying, move away, yep. create an opening, bang, land. And I, I guess with Walker's corner, they're just probably saying, capitalise. Yep. When you get in there, capitalise. Don't smother your work. I would we'll be too close. telling Walker to hit him. Really yeah, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be like, yeah, just, just hit him. I'd really be telling Walker to keep a little bit of distance, but once he's in, don't get shoulder to shoulder. No. Unload on that body. Then up to air. Walker's 
throwing that right hand with some intention there. I see the back of the yeah, rest. A bit more footwork. It's a little bit more composed, it's a little bit dazed in that second round now. He seems to be a little bit more, a bit looser, a bit fresher. A bit more comfortable. Nice little bit. Just where Walker wants the fight there. He wants it, he wants it in and dirty, he wants it. It's up close and personal. Nice one too. Can't tell if Kirk was uh, stubble team there. If Walker wants to win this fight, he's really got to start throwing a lot and hard. Flurries him against the cage. Cedar could just push up there. Yeah, I think he's smothering his own work a little yeah. bit. He's, he's, la bit. he's landing. He's landing. He's landing like a four-punch combination, yeah. dropping in with his shoulder. He doesn't need to stay on. He needs to, as a taller fighter, he can, he can afford to stay on the outside. Especially now, Walker's slowing down. Yeah, his Walker spent now. You don't want to. Is Walker spent? I don't think he is. He's his, coming back. His, his, He's throwing with intention. Taking a deep breath. See, he needs to stay on him now. Pepper him. Zip. Walker needs to throw a knockout shot for Moving me. Out of the way. You always run a risk when you step off like that. Three rounds are in the book. I think that Cedar's uh, Cedar's boxing. Yeah, I think he might have outboxed him then and uh, aged it on the scorecard. It for me, yeah. Nice forward. It's not, it's not through lack of walker trying. Nope. It really is not. The man came to fight. Medic's Jeff Moe, he's having a smile. He's all right. He's good to go. He's enjoyed himself. Another display of, display of heavyweight boxing there from him. Yeah, I, think, I think he fought a smart fight. He, he, he didn't get he didn't get dragged in too much. Nope. He could have easily stood toe to toe throwing up there. Yeah. I think he like kept his range, and that's what that's what won in the fight. If yeah. you ask me.